Welcome to ABC Recap. Today's movie is Cube, produced in 1997, directed by Vincenzo Natale, starring Nicole DeBoer and David Howlett. opens with a man, Alderson, waking up in a cube-shaped room with glowing circuit-like walls and six doors, one at the center of each wall, ceiling and floor. After recovering from his confusion, he opens two of the doors and looks into them to find rooms that differ to the one he is in, only by color. He then opens and goes through a third door. He looks around and then takes a step, but is suddenly cut into large cubes. He falls apart and the rack of cross-hatched wires which diced his moves into view. It folds up and retract. Later, in another room, several people find each other. Quentin, Ward, Holloway, Rins, and Levin. None of them know where they are, how they got there, or why they are there. Quentin, however, knows that there are traps, as he had looked into a room and nearly got his head cut off. The five decide to stay together and look for the way out. Rins takes the lead. He exemplifies how to test for traps by tossing a boat into the rooms, while holding onto the laces to trigger potential traps, figuring that the trap trapped room contains motion detectors. Holloway speculates on several possible creatures of the cube, being aliens or the government, her main options. Reigns remarks that staying still will not solve anything and says that they should move in a straight line until they get to the end. The others agree and they begin moving through the rooms. While moving, they discover a series of different numbers on the hatchways between each of the rooms. At one point, Reigns throws the boot in and does not find anything but detects that the room has dry air and deduces that it most likely employs an electrochemical sensor which detects hydrogen sulfate emitted from the skin. Quentin realizes that Rins is an escape artist who has escaped more than seven major prisons. Soon after, Rins jumps into a room tested with a boot and is sprayed in the face with acid. The others pull him back, but he dies as the acid corrodes his face and the inside of his head. The group decides that the room must have contained an electrochemical sensor which Rins missed and realizes that the they must find a better way of testing the rooms. Quentin asks everyone about their occupations. He says he is a police officer. Holloway says she's a doctor. And Ward says he works in an office building, doing office building stuff. Living claims simply to hang out with her friends. Quentin believes that nothing is a coincidence, that each of them has a purpose in the cube. After Holloway talks about her rings and brooches, Quentin asks why Living has her glasses, while Holloway has had her jewelry taken away. Living reveals herself to excel at mathematics and after looking at the numbers on a crawl space, theorizes that when one of those numbers is prime, the room is booby trapped. Levin's purpose becomes attempting to crack the cube's code, and they progress through the cubes when they find themselves in a room with trapped rooms all around. And below, Quentin checks the door in the ceiling, through which falls a seventh person, Kazan. He appears to be mentally handicapped. At least two of the others see him as a burden, but Holloway decides to bring him along. The group starts speculating about their surroundings, which causes a conflict between Quentin and Holloway. Quentin dismisses Holloway's ideas about conspiracy theories and Holloway thinks that Quentin is naive. Soon after this, Quentin enters a room without prime numbers and narrowly avoids death from a trap consisting of rotating razor wires. Levin's theory that non-prime numbered rooms are safe is shown to be incorrect. Quentin begins suspecting that Ward is a spy and is increasingly irritated by Kazan's mental state. The group rests while Levin attempts to decipher the numbers. After some time, Quentin tricks Ward into revealing that he is one of the architects who designed the enormous cube-shaped shell which contains the cube-shaped room. When asked about who contracted him to do the job, he states that he doesn't know. Although the others began to distrust Ward, Quentin going as far as beating him, is able to give them information about the dimensions of the outer cube. It is 434 feet, 26 rooms on each side, totaling 17,576 rooms. Leaving then into it that the numbers between the rooms could be encoded, Cartesian coordinates represented the position of rooms within the cube. The group begins moving towards the nearest edge. As for the traps, they begin to boot the rooms again. The group is forced to pass through a room containing a sound-activated trap. Quentin argues to leave Kazan behind, but Holloway overrules him. Everyone makes it through. When it's Quentin's turn, Kazan calls out and nearly causes his death. Quentin furious nearly beats him, and when Holloway stops him, he turns on her, and they argue heatedly. 
ending when Quentin slaps her. Despite the growing tensions, it continues. The group finally reaches one of the side edges of the cube, but discovers that there is a gap between the door and the outer shell. They fashion a rope from their clothes and the Holloway volunteers to swing out on the rope to investigate. As she's suspended outside the room, the cube shakes and Holloway nearly falls. Quentin catches her but then lets her fall to her death. He tells the others that she slept but they are dubious. The group then decided to try to reach the bottom edge of the cube but agree that they need to rest before sitting out for it. As they sleep, Quentin carries Levin into another room. He tries to convince Levin to abandon the others and make sexual advances at her and become abusive when it is obvious that she dislikes him. Wart and Kazan awaken and save Levin. Quentin becomes paranoid and says that he didn't trust Holloway, to which the rest of the group guesses that he let her die. Enraged, Quentin beats and then throws Wart through a door in the floor. Wart laughs hysterically at what he sees in that room. Rain's corpse. They think that they have been going in circles, but then Wart notices that the acid room which killed the Rain is no longer adjacent to that room. He and Levin realizes that the room must be moving. Levin also realizes that rooms which have traps are marked with numbers, which are not simply prime numbers as she had previously talked, but the larger set of prime powers. The prisoners face the task of performing prime calculations of three three-digit numbers for every room they enter. Fortunately, Kazan is, at this point, is revealed to be an autistic servant with the capacity to perform these calculations quickly and easily. He utters the numbers of distinct prime factors each number has as the room numbers are read to him. They make their way towards the exit safely with Kazan's help. Worth devices a plan to incapacitate Quentin, who has gone completely mad. Ward fights Quentin into a room below them and they leave him to die. They proceed and reach the bridge cube. When they open its door, bright light pours into the room. Ward announces that he will not go and there is nothing for him in the world outside. As he and Levin share a moment, Quentin appears having somehow managed to catch up with the trio and kills Levin by stabbing her with a door handle. He somehow broke off a door. He stabs Ward as well and grabs Kazan, who is climbing out. Ward grabs Quentin's leg with the last of his strength and Quentin's body is cut into in the crawl space between the cubes when the cubes realign. Quentin's death is not confirmed, however, as it is implied that he initially survived, having only one leg cut off. Having saved Kazan, Ward lays down next to Levin and Quentin's leg, then dies. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and hitting the notification button for more videos. You can check out my channel for related content. If you got a movie that you want me to do a recap for in a future video, please leave a comment below. And thank you for watching.